Jarvis, drop my needle. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today we have some announcements from PulseCon, which happened this past weekend. And I'm sorry I'm a couple days behind on this. I just wanted to make sure I got, you know, a couple of the toys that I wanted to talk about at least and, and shine a light on. And that's what we have here today. So I'm not even going to wait on the null thing. I'm going to start right now. Uh, Donny Cates came out because uh, I know this will excite a lot of you. I personally will probably skip this figure. Um, but uh, I know there are a lot of people out there that are very, very excited for Noel getting his own figure. I believe he's going to be one of the twenty ninety nine or twenty nine ninety nine figures. Um, the, you know, the ones that are like in their self, their own box. So he's basically a build a figure size. I think he's eight inches tall, and he comes with a sword. He look, he actually looks really good. It's a really good looking figure. Um, I just, uh, I, I'm my only goal now is to just get the remaining two Life Foundation figures if they make any, and a Sleeper figure if they ever make one. And that's really it. I just want like Agony, Riot, and Sleeper. And, and then my collection will be complete for me. Um, but I know other people out there have just been really, really wanting this guy and hoping he'd be a Build-A-Figure in one of the upcoming Venom lines. And here, you don't even have to get a Build-A-Figure. You don't even have to buy a whole set to get him. You can just get him for 30 bucks, I think. I think he'll probably average around that. And that's great. I think that's the best way to release this guy for fans who just want him. Um, that's so that way you don't have to buy like a Frogman toy to get his leg or something. I think this is great. So I want to start with that one um, because I know a lot of people that watch the show are big fans of this character and are really pumped to add this to the collection. So there you go. And uh, and I hope you get them. And uh, I probably, like I said, I probably won't. So you probably won't see a toy review on me. But if one of you out there makes a toy review on it. Let me know, like, let me know, and I'll definitely share it on the community board so people can go check out your review of the toy when it drops. Um, then we also got this cool, like, three uh, three quarter figure for Venom, which I love. I think this looks really great. I have the black costume Spider Man one, so I'll probably get this one. I actually like that they're doing these like Kenner throwback toys uh, with very little articulation, but they're nice and they're kind of almost they're a little bit bigger, I think, than the figures that come with. The DVDs like the Blu-ray that came out for Venom where it had like a little Venom figure um, and then the Into the Spider-Verse had a little Miles figure. I think those are like three inch figures so they're still smaller than these but they're in the ballpark of the same scale and so I might have them just to build a little shelf of, of those characters and that like at that scale. So I'm, I'm totally on board for this. This looks really really awesome and I can't wait to add this Venom to my collection and as far as the Spider-Man toy I will be using that in a video coming up when we talk about uh, Spider-Man in the black costume. I'm saving it for that time when we do those videos. So you'll see those after episode 700 somewhere down the line for sure. And last but not least, of course, that we have the Venom toy from the animated series and the retro card and stuff, which went up for sale on uh, Hasbro's website, I think on Saturday at 4 p.m. I had Eddie's mullet who was texting me. I was at work that day, so I only respond when I had the chance. And uh, and so he I, he was like, hey, man, it's going on sale now. It's going on sale now. And by the time I saw it, it had already passed. And I was like, yeah, but I'm at work. I can't sit here on my phone and like buy a, a toy or anything like that. So I was just like, I'll probably miss out on this one. Um, I don't even have the money for it right now anyway. So to me, I'm like, ah, I'll, it's, I'll, I'll miss it, you know, for now at least, but maybe I'll get, they'll do a second wave of it or I'll have a second chance at getting it somewhere down the line, which is totally fine by me. I don't need the figure right now. Actually, I got to say, as we're winding down on Venom stuff and uh, pretty soon we'll be shifting after episode 750 to just be talking about Venom in the like Spider-Man 2 video game and we'll only be doing updates w uh, for that video game. Like, so at that point, I mean, I haven't really been collecting a ton of Venom stuff lately anyway. Uh, I, like I said, I'll, I'll be down to complete my Life Foundation collection and get a Sleeper toy if they make Sleeper. But other than that, I, I'm, I'm fine with where my collection is and I'm happy to not add to it. I've switched fully on to just getting the uh, Halo figures that have been coming out through Jazzwares because that's just my budget. Like, I, you know, I have to budget things out and I can't have everything just to have it. And so I kind of grew away from collecting just the Venom figures and stuff. So unless there are certain characters come out, I'll buy those, but probably won't be buying full sets of anything or, or you know, or stuff like that anymore. So this figure, I'm okay. I have the first wave of Spider-Man retro figures, and that was like the last Spider-Man wave I, I was able to purchase. And again, I probably won't be buying any more Marvel Legends stuff other than that little three, three quarter Venom figure. Um, but outside of that, I just room and space and all this other stuff. I, I just, uh, I'm just 
cutting back on my collection for, for now. But I still will bring the news to you so that you know what stuff is out there to collect if you want to collect it. So let me know. You know, I'll put a link, try to put a link to the, the Hasbro website down below. And hopefully there's still those, some of those Venoms left to purchase if you want to try um, or at least keep an eye on that link uh, in case they ever get more in or make more to, you know, to, to, to sell more and stuff so they can get it. Um, but for me, you know, I'm, I'm just going to get the little figure in this collection uh, out of these three figures, but I wanted to at least share it all with you because I know no fans are out there. I know fans of the animated one where he looks blue and, uh, and, and red, which looks great. And they even have X-Men ones coming out uh, and they're actually in little VHS boxes uh, I would love to have those too. They're releasing Wolverine and Jubilee. I would love to have them, but just not in the cards right now. But uh, hopefully with uh, the Year of Vengeance with Ghost Rider next year, hopefully we'll get some Ghost Rider figures and maybe some of those I will collect and I'll do uh, figure reviews of those over on that show. And then of course I still collect the DC McFarlane stuff from time to time. So if for those of you who like toy uh, reviews and stuff, I'll try to do a couple of those coming up or at least some unboxings. And then the Halo toys, I'll try to do reviews of those at some point for people who just like toy reviews. I'll try to get some in there. And maybe a Transformer toy or two if I you know, collect any of those uh, when the new movie comes out. So uh, let me know what your thoughts of these are, though, down below since we're talking toys. And, uh, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on this or anything else that came out at PulseCon. Let me know down below. And as always, we'll continue the conversation down there. Thanks so much for the show. Uh, we are catching up and getting to episode 700 very soon. Still haven't figured out what I'm going to do with it yet. So I'm coming up with some ideas. If you have any, let me know in the comments and uh, we can talk more about it down there. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.